Air Mac Command. Or shall we say, Air Mac fucking Command. So Cross VR hooked it up with the Revive 0.7. But we can play this shit on the fucking HTC. So I've been looking forward to this game since I first saw it. Before I even had my um, VR headset, I was uh, I looked at the game and I thought it was dope just because it kind of looked like you know your toys coming to life. So I figured I right, I'd give us a try, but unfortunately we couldn't play it thanks to the revive hack. We can play it now. At the moment, there's no audio in it, but it's still a good ass game in my opinion. So, first things first, um, there's no internet play as far as I know with this hack. So, that's two things that don't have audio and internet play. Um, another thing, the game looks fucking amazing. You know, in the headset, it, it actually looks like you're on the field, and the field is hella big, it's all around you. Um, you can zoom in with the headset, like let's say you jump on the floor and just look real close to the models. I mean, everything looks super crisp. Um, they had a little hack come out where you can update the super sample. And uh, with the super sample, it looks even better. So the game to me is definitely worth it. But I mean, compared to what you got on the Vive, I haven't really uh, even played through a lot of the games I bought on the Vive, like uh, Out of Ammo. The, the, the call or whatever that game is. So I mean, it's a few games that I got and uh, they are right, but I really haven't played through them because they just didn't pull me in. But this game, I like it because it feels more complete. Um, unfortunately, you can't play online. That was one of the things I was looking forward to. But again, I mean, uh, we running it on a hack, so it is what it is. I'm just glad to play it. I mean, one of the dope things about the game is you got tons of stuff to unlock. Lots of costumes, lots of extra units. I mean, it's kind of like a mix between StarCraft and uh, Dota, I guess you could say. I mean, but the game is pretty dope, man. And I mean, a lot of people on the Oculus hate shit where they don't want to buy the games or whatever because it's exclusive shit. I mean, really, if the game is worth getting, it is what it is. I'm not finna sit around and wait for these dudes to release it and then, like, just go months and months without it. So fuck it, I'll run it on the hack. I mean, even if they don't get the audio working, it is what it is. I still run it. So... I definitely suggest this game, you know what I'm saying? I really don't make videos about fucking VR games, but I, I wanted this game for a minute, and now that I got to try it, the game is, is legit, man. Like, this is one of them games, especially for all the people who, like, the people who really own their VR headsets, like, to me, this is a must-have game. I mean, it's one of them kind of games you're gonna go back to it and play it again and do some more shit with it, so, you know what I'm saying? Definitely give it a shout out. Definitely give it a check, man. And uh, definitely want to give a shout out to the dude Cross VR, man. Like, old boy been putting in hella work. I mean, I know y'all know what's going on in the news with uh, Oculus taking off the DRM with the headset check. And I mean, basically, man, that's old boy being gangster about the shit and just doing what he do, man. And just saying, fuck it. He came up with the hack. He kept updating the hack when they tried to break it. He came right back so quick on him. It really was like pointless for them to keep trying to uh, update the hacks and shit. He was just ripping through it. So basically, you know, it was kind of a win for the, the HTC dudes. And, uh, you know, give dude his credit, man. Give dude his props, man. Cross VR. If y'all ain't checked it out, and you do got a um, uh, Vive, you definitely got to check it out. And I also got to shout out the Dolphin VR because that shit go hard, too. It's, it's been a few games that I played, pulled the screen out where it was like doll, doll size and uh, everything looked like I was playing with a little toy set. And that shit was hella dope. And I mean... My little seven-year-old kid, he the one that really play this shit, and he, he get a kick out of it, he love it. So definitely, man, get a game to try out, and uh, if you're around Reddit, man, get that boy a shout out, Cross VR.